Hello, my name is Hazel Anderson, and I'm a member of the MSU Science Festival team. Welcome to BioBlitz 101. This video will cover what is a BioBlitz, why I should participate, how I can participate, featured locations, using iNaturalist, what to look for, observation tips, and identification tips. You may be wondering, what is a BioBlitz? A BioBlitz is a community science-led tally of living things in a designated area to explore and celebrate biodiversity. MSU Science Festival has partnered with nature centers, natural areas, parks, and other conservation organizations across Michigan to be featured locations for the 2024 BioBlitz during April. Why should I participate? Participating in the 2024 MSU Science Festival BioBlitz gives you an opportunity to learn more about your local biodiversity and explore the nature near you. Documenting your nature observations also generates important biodiversity data for scientists and natural area managers. How can I participate? To participate in the 2024 MSU Science Festival BioBlitz, join our iNaturalist project at the link shown on the screen. You can also join by searching MSU Science Festival 2024 BioBlitz on the projects page of the iNaturalist app or website. One way to participate is to make observations. An observation records an encounter with an individual organism or recent evidence of an organism at a particular time and location. To do this, visit any of the featured locations with a phone or camera. Then take pictures of living organisms you come across. Finally, upload them to iNaturalist using the app or website. An internet connection is required, and be sure to include location information. Another way to participate is by adding identifications to observations. To do this, first visit the iNaturalist project and check out other people's observations. Then, suggest an identification of the organism. If you don't know specific species, that's okay. Any identification is helpful. The following are featured locations that have partnered with the MSU Science Festival for the 2024 BioBlitz. Fenner Nature Center, Michigan Audubon Capital City Bird Sanctuary, Chippewa Nature Center, Blandford Nature Center, Grand Traverse Conservation District Boardman River Nature Center, Cory Marsh Ecological Research Center, Belle Isle Nature Center, Little Forks Conservancy Riverview Natural Area, Sini National Wildlife Refuge, Waldemar Nature Center, Wayne County Parks Crosswinds Marsh. Visit the MSU Science Festival website for addresses and location websites. Now on to using iNaturalist. What is iNaturalist? iNaturalist is an online community that allows you to share observations to discuss, identify, and create research quality data for science and conservation iNaturalist is available as an app or website. The app is available for download on both the Google Play and App Store. To use iNaturalist, you have to create an iNaturalist account. You will need an email and must be 13 years or older to make an iNaturalist account. To add an observation on the web, go to www.inaturalist.org and sign into your account. Then you will first locate and click the green upload button. Next, choose the photo or photos you want to upload as an observation. Finally, fill in the species name, location, and other details to submit your observation. To add an observation using the iNaturalist app, download that app from the Apple App Store or Google Play Store and sign into your account. Then you will first locate and select the green plus sign or observe icon. Then select your image or images or take a photo to make an observation. Finally, you will fill in what you saw, the location, and other relevant details to submit your observation. If you need help with iNaturalist, visit help.inaturalist.org. Now we will discuss what to look for during the BioBlitz. For the 2024 MSU Science Festival BioBlitz, you can look for anything across the tree of life. There are so many organisms to discover from plants, fishes, reptiles, mammals, birds, amphibians, arachnids, insects, mollusks, fungus, and more. If you want some suggestions on what to look for, here's some species to look for featuring commonly observed species in Michigan in early spring. These include birds, mammals, plants and fungi, amphibians and reptiles. 
Watch our social media where we will be sharing weekly suggestions featuring species in these groups. A list is also available on the BioBlitz resource link tree. Now for some observation tips. Take clear, identifiable photos. Fill the frame with your subject and don't be afraid to zoom in or crop your photo to get a better image. Get close to the organism, but not too close. Be sure to stay safe. Discard any blurry photographs. Include multiple photos in your observations. Most organisms are easier to identify with multiple angles and or multiple features. For example, a tree is much easier to identify with photos of leaves, branches, and bark. A flowering plant is much easier to identify with photos of leaves and flowers. Focus on one species in each observation. INAT observations record encounters with one taxon at one place and time. If you want to make a record of an additional species in the same photo, just add a new observation with the same photo. Be sure to add the location of your observation. If you are worried about privacy, change the location visibility to obscured. Don't photograph people's faces, especially children. Focus on wild organisms. iNaturalist is primarily focused on observing organisms in the wild, not animals in captivity, such as zoos, or cultivated garden plants. Checking captive or cultivated on your observation means that the observation is of an organism that exists in the time and place it was observed because humans intended it to be there and then. An example of a wild organism is a bird on a tree in your yard, while a captive one would be a zebra in a zoo. And a cultivated organism would be a hydrangea shrub planted in your garden, as opposed to a jewel weed growing naturally by a creek. Stay on trails and leave no trace. Take only photos, leave only footprints. And be sure to follow any posted rules and guidelines. Here are some identification tips. What is an identification? An identification, or ID for short, is an assessment of the type of animal, plant, or other organism that was observed. When you make an observation, identify the organism as best you can, even if that's just plant or bird. The iNaturalist AI will give you suggestions for ID, but they're just that, suggestions. Based on the photograph you provided and how much information it has about the species in your area, it will offer a list of suggestions with some information about how confident it is in these suggestions. Suggestions that are listed as visually similar and seen nearby are the best choices. All of those suggestions, though, link to a species information page where you can see larger photos, read about the species, and see a map of where others have observed it. If it seems like you found a match to your organism, you can select it as the ID from within the species page. Add and confirm identifications for species you are familiar with. Every observation missing an identification gets automatically placed in the needs ID category. Add identifications at the level that you are confident of and that is supported by the evidence provided in the observation. More BioBlitz resources are available at linktree slash MSU SciFest underscore BioBlitz. For more information about the MSU Science Festival and to check out all the events, visit sciencefestival.msu.edu.